When we're starting out on the idea of a new character, we're looking at a lot of the opportunity spaces for a character, and a lot of it's like, what don't we currently have within Valorant? Hi, I'm John Gosicki. I am the character producer uh, for Valorant, and so my job is twofold. It's like to think about like, what are we making next? What does the game need next? As well as just oversee general development. Hi, I'm Ryan Cusart. I'm one of the agent designers on Valorant. I work on the gameplay and um, work on some of the mechanics that we see on our agents today. When we're starting out on the idea of a new character, we're looking at a lot of the opportunity spaces for a character. And a lot of it's like, what don't we currently have within Valorant? And that's gonna be a mix of like design, thematic, art, narrative, like everything put together. It takes us about anywhere from 10 to 14 months to make an agent. Any faster than that, we start to lose like a cohesiveness with the character. We kind of always knew we wanted to have sprinting in the game. And that was kind of like the seed that kicked off a lot of the conversations around Neon. I think the design space for mobility has always been kind of limited, mainly because it breaks one of the, the main rules and it's that consistency. It's being able to predict the movement. And so with Neon, what we wanted to ensure was that we were putting her in a place where you could predict some of the intentionality. From there, once we've got a hook that we feel good about, we start bringing in a concept artist and a narrative writer and really starting to flesh out the different thematic aspects of the character. And so for a character like Neon, that starts out of like, okay, she can run. And we're like, all right, let's think about what are sprinting thematics. Like we looked at like Olympic runners, we looked at running gear, we looked at athleisure, all of these things that like when you look at her, you're like, okay, cool. I get what she's about at a glance without having to think too deeply. And our goal there is to really just lay out a foundation for the character so that when other people come on board, they have a good structure to work with. They know the personality of the character, they know the visual design of the character, the rest of the gameplay should be in a pretty locked state. And then from there, once we've got that good foundation, we'll move on to pre-production. And pre-production lasts like a month to two months. And the idea there is just to like, on our end, you know, see if we can make this stuff work. So it's like, we got a proxy model in for the character. And all we're looking to do with this model is be like, can I read these colors and shapes against a wall? With Neon's hair, like do the buns stick out above boxes? Like really simple stuff like that. From there, it's about another three to four months of just production. And that's 3D, tech art, VFX, animation, audio, QA. This is where everyone's really there and we're really making the character um, as you know them now. And John's gonna hate to hear this, but production is my favorite part. I think production <laughs> is when, it, when the design really starts, even though it should have already ended, because you start to see a lot of things that the concept artists start to do. Some of the animators, they have these ideas where it's like, okay, she's gonna throw her hand down and put her hand down. And so when you start to see those animations, you're like, okay, we'll make it instant. Like, it'll come up as one big explosion. Though the directions are already locked, there's a couple of those pieces like that give you those levers when you balance. Seeing that stuff come in, it's so inspiring. Overall, when we start getting production elements in, it's always just a collaboration around like, when we see this for the first time, how does it feel? Because a lot of times when we're playing pre-production, it's all like us taking stuff from other characters and throwing it together and seeing how it feels. But this is the first time we'll see it for real. I've been at Riot for about like 10 years now. And you know, um, one of the opportunity spaces was, has always been the Philippines. I think it's just a space within an unrepresented country. A designer that's a Filipino that dreams of working on something like this. Um, it, you really don't get a shot like this, you know? Um, and so, um, <sighs> sorry, <sighs> it's a dream, you know, it's like a dream come true. And so you, you do have that pressure. How can I make that come true in a way that would make me proud, you know, would make my little brother proud and like family proud and stuff like that. And, and just gamers across the world, there's a lot of Filipino gamers out there that are looking for something to attach to. You want to find that agent that's yours or that you can say, I'm, I'm that. So for Neon, we're kind of looking at, um, is she doing the thing she wants to be doing? Is her wall creating safety? Is her relay bolt actually allowing her to follow up on kills? Is the sprint letting her break timings? 
We look at what we intend Neon to do and see if she's actually able to achieve those or if she's failing in a certain way, uh, if there's opportunities there. And then from there, we also take a look at win rates. We take a look at pick rates, ensuring that she's able to, at different levels, kind of offer something for her composition. Every agent should make you think about the game in a different way. And it's like the way you're approaching an angle should be different when a new agent is introduced. The way you're approaching a plant or a post plant scenario, all of these things should change when new agents are there. Running with Neon made you think about like when to be holding an angle or how to think about the sound she's making. Like that was all intentional and, and part of the goal. I don't know, I just really hope everyone is running as fast as they can on her. That's my dream, is just sprint and run in and get frags.